at home overview of the gel blocks of what the .264 156 grain Elite Hunter by Burger did shot out of a 6.5 Breedmore. I get my sample pack from SubMOAShooting.com. This guy's a great to work with. Um, and this video did exactly what I expected it to do and shows ballistically why I do not prefer uh, burger bullets at all. There's other guys, other YouTube videos you can see, especially like shooting them out of Grendel's. They just tumble. Um, both my low velocity rounds, one was, uh, what was that, 1550 something, I don't remember exactly, but between 15 and 1600 feet per second, and the other one was 1641. Uh, high velocity load was just over 2,500 feet per second. High velocity load was 83.7 grains of retained weight. Low velocity loads, I found one of them that had punched down through my table. And this is just what I consistently get with burgers, even... Um, even moving as fast as just over 2,000 feet per second, I've still had this happen. In my opinion, burgers, they don't perform because they tumble. But because they tumble so consistently, they do well on hunting. And that's why you get that few inches of penetration, bullet tumbles in the vitals, drops your animal. If you're okay with how that works and you're relying on that tumbling, I would rather have a bullet that actually performs. Um, I didn't flip this gel block around when I reshot, so we're going to start with uh, this high velocity load and what it did. So your total leading edge of those chunks that remaining were 16 and 3 quarters of total penetration and that wasn't even moving fast if you move this bullet out of uh, something like a 6.5 PRC instead of a Creedmoor I'm pretty sure that's gonna do like what the 185 elite hunters did in my 300 wind mag they're gonna vaporize in the first block and not even penetrate into the second block again some people are okay with that I am NOT I do not like murder bullets this is visual representation of why I don't. With these guys, put that block in there so we have actual. Penetration measurements. Even though there was just shy of 100 feet per second difference between these two, they're... Uh, Wound channels look almost identical in the gel. They both started tumbling at about that three inch mark, taking their first good tumble. And then it looks like they tried to tumble a second time starting at about 11 inches, where then one of them went down through my table. They both may have, as it's one right there, and the other one's not. A very, very consistent half inch between the two looks almost identical and that's what the one I found looks like if you like them if you love them by all means shoot them but in my opinion that is a bullet that did not perform um, I also worked three years doing wild game processing where we processed an average of 1200 animals a year between deer elk antelope moose Bighorn sheep, uh, mountain goats, you know, you name it. If it was huntable game, we were processing it. We even processed some buffalo for people. I have found burgers like this in animals where the wound channel looked decent because the bullet tumbled. I've also talked to people that say they'll never use a burger again because it pinlined through the animal they shot. Um, I'm not just trying to trash talk burger. If you like them and want to keep using them, by all means, use them. These are the reasons why I will not. Um, you're relying on them tumbling at 
lower velocities, they over grenade at higher velocities. That ideal window is, you know, I'm, I don't want to have to plan my hunting of, I gotta shoot it at 150 to 200 yards, but before it's more than 500 yards out, so I know my bullet's gonna perform. Um, I, I want something more consistently reliable than this. I know there's a lot of long range shooters that love them. There's one company that has done consistent, uh, or quite a few videos of them shooting gel blocks at 600 yards. If you watch close, if you put that video on slow-mo, you can tell, yes, they get that decent permanent wound cavity, but it's right where the bullet tumbled, and you can, a lot of times, if their camera's high enough speed, you can actually see the bullet tumble and exit the gel still whole. So, again, if you like burgers and want to keep using them because you love blowing grotesque holes close range and rely on tumbling at long range, and it works for you, by all means use it. Uh, I won't, and those are the reasons why.